Apparently, 420 things grow in Ontario. It's a good place. <laughs> Where Dave's not there, man. <laughs> okay. Check out youtube.com slash 420 things. Well, I got to check it out. 420 T H I. Oh, 420 T H I, small i, N, capital N, capital G, capital S. I will try it. And I will uh, subscribe, yeah. I'll do that right now. 420 Things Grow in Ontario. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and this is another unboxing. Links in the description, obviously, you see what this is going on. So, um, or the, the description, or the title of this video, you know what I'm, I'm about to undo here. So, um, if you're interested in this product, link will be in the description. There's also a coupon code 420 things. It's my, uh, patented, uh, no, that's not patented, but you know what I mean. My go to, um, coupon code 420 things, all one word at a AC infinities uh, website. You'll see the link in the description there, here, wherever it is on your screen. And this right here is the T4 version of their fan. So this has the control panel. It's be in this video. It'll be start to finish. I'm gonna I'm gonna open this up, show you what's all in here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna put a light on in a tent with nothing in it, a humidifier in the tent with nothing in it. So just light heat and humidity. And we're gonna see how this works because this is supposed to control, and I, when I say supposed to control, it has humidity and temperature um, settings on this. So we're gonna take a look at the book. Let's open this up. And I don't know how you would do this, but apparently power and fan, fan. Hmm. Let's get more into that. I think you can control two separate units. Um, what do we have here? Uh, oh, some um, connectors, some zip ties, and uh, what else in here? I have some screws to the wall, some mounting stuff. I hang all my stuff, or it's above the tent, right? So it's not going to be an issue for us. And let's get this fan out. All right. Oh, one more bag here. We'll take that in a second. And then some end piece for, you know, packaging. And that's it. Okay, so what we have is the fan, the plug, which has quite a bit of plug here. Let's see how much we got. <clears throat> what do we have? We have more than seven feet. It's about eight feet, maybe, maybe even more. And then this is to connect to this unit. Okay, and that's quite amount of feet. Uh, I don't know exactly how long it is. I think it's like 20 some feet. It looks like a lot though. Um, maybe it'll say in our instruction book. Also we have is the sensor. Remove to use. Boop. Boop. Okay, so I'm assuming this little bad mamma jamma, temperature, and inside there, can you see that? I'm assuming you can see that. I got this head mount camera on. Maybe it's a bit. Let me just tilt it a bit here. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, you can see this. Um, this is the temperature as well as humidity. So what is this? Well, here, let's see what's this. Precise data. Swiss made sensor provides pinpoint temperature and humidity checks. Yeah. So there you go. So, where does this plug into? Well, this plugs into this unit here, which is gonna be outside of the tent. This is gonna run ample room from this into the tent. And then this is gonna run, uh, I'm gonna have this outside of my tent. I blow in my two by four, I'm blowing through my carbon filter. So this is like, I'm gonna like, uh, I don't have to read the instructions, um, but I'm assuming it goes in here and uh, Away we go. Plug it in, and then the fan, the the controller is gonna do all the work. So I'm gonna put this on pause, I'm gonna start looking through some of this stuff, and uh, 
bring back uh, some more information uh, when we do the setup in the 2x4 and how we're going to look at the heat and the humidity. All right, guys, girls, back in a second. Well, all right, so uh, Mars Hydro Light is not on. Uh, what I have is this little light going on. I got heat my little moo moo in here, humidifying, and I also got a heater in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a cloner in here. So I wanted to have it all set up. Um, the basement is colder than I would like it to be for the um, uh, for for the for the cuttings. So what I've done here is I've set the high temp at about 26. I may bump it up to 27, but the heater I've got it dialed in pretty nice actually. It comes on. I just had it open. That's why it's a little chilly. And that's why the, the, the humidity's come down. But what I've done is I've set the high temp to come on at 26. And then my low temp I've shut off. My high humidity, I've put it just 88. Like I want it to be nice and high in there for the cutting. So, um, but what I did is I, I messed with this on the way up. So I, I did it like, oh, like let, let me set it to where it's going to be like during flowering. And if you set the high temp and you set the high humidity... And then low humidity I have set off as well, okay? Um, and, and another thing, I, I figured this out how to do this, is how to go back up through, is just push the menu button and hold it, and then it'll go, and then push the menu button and hold it. Um, but regardless of any of that, so what, what happens is, is if it gets to too high temp, the fan ramps up one, two, three, and then it brings the temperature down. That also is going to bring the humidity down, right? So in, a, in an environment where it's not super high humidity, the fan will kick on when it hits the high temp or the high humidity. Well, what happens is, well, then both come down, right? Because my humidity level outside of the tent is quite cool and quite dry. So that's what happens whenever the fan comes on. So that being said, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this controller. I, I, I had a few issues with it right off the hop. I figured it out. No big deal. Now that I've got it going, I don't need a, you know, my, my, my heater is, it's in a small space, only in a two by four, right? And this is the T, T4 controller, um, T4 cloud line fan. Like it, it, it's going to run and blow that air out of there and keep it in within, I don't need a separate controller for the heat. I don't need a separate controller for humidity. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, 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 I've got it dialed in and I'm about to take some clones. So that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. And, and, and if you don't have to buy those other controllers, this unit, when compared to other fans, isn't that much more expensive. So, um, if you do like this unit, go check them out, acinfinity.com. You can, you can use the coupon code 420 things, all one word at checkout. And uh, you will uh, get 15% uh, off. So that's a, that's a pretty good deal too. Um, one thing is that there is a link in the description. It's acinfinity.com, sure. But I, I, it's like I got an affiliate link and yada, yada, yada. So if you guys could check that out, that'd be great. Um, and uh, if you want to buy one of those, uh, I just have it up here, just kind of on top of the tent. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So like, subscribe, and do all that jazz. Yeah.